Thank you, thank you, Speaker. Minister, you know, in 2013, the public protector found you guilty of maladministration on your previous ministry and asked that you must be disciplined. But because Mr. Jacob Zuma does not respect the constitution, it did not happen. He moved you to another ministry. Now, on this current ministry, what happened is that SFF, they announced that they are buying the stake on Chevron without your permission. And you're fuming that, and you fought them, which resulted to the resignation of your CEO and your chairperson. But yourself now, you, you sold 10 million barrels of our crude oil without getting concurrence from the Treasury, as it outlined on the Treasury Act, that you must get concurrence on the Central Energy Fund Act, that you must get concurrence from Treasury. Why did you not do that? Do you have issues with Treasury? Are you part of the ministers that were told to go and fight uh, Mr. Pravin Godan? Because this is 10 million crude stock of South Africa that you sold without speaking to Treasury. Why is, is that issue? And also, the issue of the nuclear deal are you going to sign that nuclear deal, which is primarily going to benefit the Gupta families? And how far with that process of uh, signing that nuclear deal? And don't, uh, don't forget that one, on one of your presentations here, you said your sons, they asked you to do the right thing. Can you do the right thing and answer correct and honest questions? Do we have problems with Treasury? Do we have problems with Minister Pravin Koda? Thank you. The Honorable the Minister. I have absolutely no problems with the law. I account to this parliament of implementing the law. We have, as I'm saying to you, subjected ourselves to scrutiny of Treasury. We have concurrence by Treasury. That approval of Treasury was not required in the matter. And that, as I'm saying to you, will be tested in each and every transaction which has happened. If there has been every, any untoward behavior, I, uh, I really appeal to you to inform me so that the law can take its course. I am asking you that you provide me detail of any nuclear deal that has been signed or has to be signed. Could you please provide me with that detail? As far as I'm concerned, a request a request for proposal will be issued on the 30th of September for the procurement processes in which we have a cabinet approval to test the market on the procurement of nuclear. There has been nothing signed. There's an intergovernmental agreement which has been signed. There's no deal that has been signed. There's an intergovernmental agreement which has been signed and that intergovernmental agreement has been made public. It was presented to Parliament. It is a parliamentary document. It is a public document. Please, I cannot respond to speculation or to gossip. I thank you.